All right, all right. We greet you in the name of Jesus Christ, Elder Isla. God bless you, sir. We greet you today. We greet you this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus is the Son of God. He's alive and he's now set on the right hand of the Father. Let me say this first of all before we get started. God bless you on YouTube also. Before we get started, let me say this. It amazes me how people hold to denominational teachings but they don't believe the Bible. That amazes me. Yes. <laughs> you making your denomination your God. You don't believe the Bible, but you believe your denomination. Anyway, that's enough of that. Now, you that, you that, oh, uh, they say, they say, and then what we're going to talk about. God is going to give you double for your trouble. You ever heard that? God is going to give you double for your trouble. All right. You didn't say that. We feel like we get ready to go into scripture. And we're going to show you where you are a liar. You are a liar. You're a liar. You're a liar. You know you got these little jagged legs. Want to be prophet. They don't want to be real prophets of God. They want to be a false prophet. They, they want to be. They don't want to be a prophet of God. They want to be a false prophet. They don't want to be a real prophet of God. They want to be a false prophet. That's what they want to be. A false prophet, a soothsayer. Just say stuff. Now, if God really told someone that, who did he tell that? Did he tell the whole congregation? Who did he tell that? So you throw out, God told all y'all to go and do, he going to give you double for your trouble. You are a liar. You are a liar. <clears throat> now, where do they get that from? Where do they get that from? Come, 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 come here and let's have real Bible study. You ain't getting, you, they're not going to get it in your church. As I said before, Most of these jack leg want to be, they do not want to be a real prophet. They want to be a false prophet. For a real prophet, tell the truth and preach the gospel and preach God's word uncompromising. A real prophet, they don't want to be a real prophet like Jeremiah and Elijah. And Isaiah and these eagles, they don't want to be like them. For they told the people to repent and come back to God. They don't want to be that type of prophet. They want to be a false prophet. Uh -huh, you heard it here first. They want to be a false prophet, not a real prophet. You don't want to be no real prophet. Huh? Huh? A real prophet preach true and say repent and tell the people they wrong and they cry loud and spell loud. Oh. <laughs> a real prophet is gonna tell the Jack Leg suit sale false prophet that they wrong for God bless you, Pastor. Michael Jones, real man of God, Pastor Michael C. D. Jones. A real El Jones, these these little Jack they want to be, they want to be a false prophet. They don't want to be no real prophet. You don't want to be a real prophet. You want to be a false prophet. I look at the look at the prophets of old Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, and so on and so forth. They told the people to repent and come back to God. Turn from your wicked ways. They said, yes, sir. God bless you, Pastor Michael Jones. 
from all. Uh, mm, I can't think of the name you'll check now. <laughs> Emmanuel? God bless you. Look at my Pastor Michael Tone. They want to be a false prophet, not a real prophet. A real prophet going to tell you to repent, stop your evil, come back to God. A real prophet going to tell all the preachers that tell the folk, God says, so a seed for you. Yes, yes. Ev Evangel Church. They're located on, right on the corner of Manassas and Jackson. Evangel Church. Pastor Superintendent Michael C. D. Jones, a real true man of God. Now, as I was saying, these jokers, these little old Jack Leg, want to be false prophet. They don't want to be a real prophet. They don't want to be a real prophet. They don't look at what the old prophet the old said. They preach against that mess, the mess that they were doing in among the people of God. You don't want to do that because you don't want to preach against nothing. If you're a real prophet, and you don't have to have no option, you can tell that false prophet that telling for God says sow a seed for your miracle, you can tell that false prophet he's a liar and he needs to repent of his sin. Anyway, now, let me get here. The jack leg want to be false prophets. And they be that. They don't be a real prophet. But anyway, Folks, God said he's going to give you double for your trouble. You are a liar. You are a liar. Who did he tell that to? Who did he tell that to? Did he tell everybody in the congregation? You put it out there like that, you a liar. Now, I was looking at a prophet, well, a false prophet this morning on, on, on uh, Facebook. He said, it's a big blessing for somebody out there. Is it you? You the prophet. You tell me. Is it me? I don't know. Is it me? You the prophet. You tell me. <laughs> anyway, double for your trouble. Here is where that come from. When Job went through what he went through, and God blessed Job in the end of what he went through with more than what he had at first. And that's where they get double for your trouble. Can I educate you? God did not tell Job he was going to give him double for his trouble. God didn't tell Job that. He just did. Now let me read to you what Jesus said you will get on certain conditions. Go open your Bible. Go to Mark, the 10th chapter, and the 29th verse. Mark 10 29. These are the words of Jesus. Well, we, we better begin reading at the 28th verse. It reads on this way. Then Peter began to say unto him, Lo, we have left all and have followed thee. And Jesus answered and said, Verily I say unto you, There is no man that have left house or brethren or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my sake, and the gospels, but he shall receive a hundredfold now in this time, houses, brethren, sisters, mothers, children, lands, with persecutions, and in the world to come, eternal life. And many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. Jesus said, you're going to get a hundredfold if you leave these things for Christ. Now, let's clarify that. This is not talking about you leaving your wife and you leaving your husband to follow Christ just like that. Remember Jesus said, think not that I am come to bring peace but a sword that's going to divide. Remember that Paul said in the book of Corinthians, if they be pleased to dwell with you, don't leave them. 
That's talking about the condition that they don't want to be with you no more. If they don't want to be with you no more because you are following in Christ, because you want to live the holy life and live the way Jesus told you to live, if they don't want to be with you no more, somebody got to go. That's the condition. Is I talking about, I'm following Christ now. I'm leaving y'all there. No, 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 no. You're wrong. No, no. If they, t or if they tell you, if your wife tell you, I don't want to be, I don't want to be with you, Father Christ. You gotta go. Huh? If your children tell you, Daddy, Mama, I don't want to have nothing to do with you. You Father Christ. You gotta go. Abraham left. God told Abraham to leave his kindred. Huh? Who will wish him a strange God? But Lot came with him. Got it? Got it? Now, it say for the gospel's sake. For my sake and the gospel. That's the criteria. That's the criteria for his sake and the gospel. That's the criteria. Not leave because you get mad and they made you mad. That's not for the gospel's sake. Not leave because y'all grow apart. That's not for the gospel's sake. Huh? Not leave because she don't clean up the way she should. That's not for the gospel's sake. Huh? Not leave because uh, she talked back to you. That's not for the gospel's sake. It's a for the gospel's sake. Meaning they don't want nothing to do with you because of the gospel. Now, watch this. Peter was referring to the riches, if you back up there. Remember Peter? Yeah, they were fishing. They were fishing. They had fishing companies or what have you. Jesus so said, drop your net. Come follow me and I'll make you fishes of men. Yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir, Pastor John. Not many want to live according to the gospel. That's right. Not many want to live according to the gospel. Not many want to live according to the go uh, 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 according to the gospel. Not many. See, the gospel say and Jesus' name say. If you, if you. In leaving me, you have to leave, okay? As I'm talking you, you know, and these hellbound fall prophet pastor, leave, leave, your husband ain't say, your wife ain't say, leave that devil. You, you, you a lie, pastor. You a lie. You wrong. I don't care if they ain't say, you don't leave them. Huh? You understand. Now, he said a hundredfold. What is a hundredfold? What is a hundredfold? I tell you what it is. What you left, you gonna get more. You'll get more children. You, if you have to leave your wife, you'll get another wife. Now, although uh, although some live beneath their privilege, they say, "I don't, I don't want now. Now I don't want now. You're living beneath your privilege." <laughs> now let's go here. Go to Matthew five, right quick. We're gonna be through. We're gonna be through. Go to Matthew 5, 5 and 10. This word of Jesus, this is what you're going to get. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sakes, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. That's what you're going to get, the kingdom of heaven. That's what you're going to get, the kingdom of heaven. Where did double for your trouble come in at? You liar. You liar. It, 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 look, look, look. In number one, Pastor Joel, not many will go through what Joel went through and keep their integrity. They'll leave God. <laughs> huh? All right. God bless you. God keep you is my prayer. Double for your trouble? That's a lie. You lie. You lie. 
And men, men need folk. They won't be false prophets. They don't want to be God prophets. All right. God bless you is my prayer.